But in the first game, I really like one thing about team about team detonator. Do you guys do you guys remember that the uh, around five minutes until like fifteen minutes of the game that team detonator just start to rush the game space super fast until tigers cannot catch up with that anymore and and it just broke down and seems to be very confused like how they're gonna rotate that their, their players Swen stands ready Swen stands ready it might be next to seen as a call like this when post four grim five next call next call is good against him against the track too because the mana burn can burn the track a lot Next off. Now detonator just need Five, the seven, mid two. laner. They will have to pick the mid first too. I would like to see spider in the grand finals. Prune Master got buffed, you know, but I haven't seen it once in in this tournament. Ten seconds remaining. Puck has been banned. Five seconds they always ban Puck. Puck Ben Hur seems to be well respected all over Southeast Asia. Dire team pick. And Meepo banned out. Respect ban to four five eight Meepo, the player from Vietnam is so good with his Meepo. Last pick mid lane for team detonator, what's it gonna be? Who knows, it might come out as, like, shoes. <laughs> Previous game, like Team Tigers. I am so disagree Five about still speak remaining. last game. Yeah, I under I kind of understand that you want to pick a Zeus to burst down that Terra Blade HP. Uh, so that he got no chance to do the Thunder. But Terra Blade got too much HP for you to burst, actually. Radiant team pick. Oh, Shadow demon. demon. I don't get it. This might be a Shadow demon mid. Who know? Yeah, it might be Shadow demon mid, or just Shadow demon as a uh, support along with Grim Grimstroke, having Nexus in mid. Five seconds remaining. Oh, kitty, you hungry? Uh, uh, um, there's one cat around me here. The 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 yellow cat named NASA. Yeah, he he probably high all the time. The reason Central. that's the reason Central why we human. call him NASA because he high like an astronaut. Maybe because of the catnip that they give them. And the last pick for Team Tigers is Phantom Lancer. I kind of like that. Another good hero to get uh, get buffed in 0. Point, uh, I'm sorry, 7.21c patched. This hero get buffed because uh, at where he used the Phantom Rush, his agility increased. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Hey, kitty. All right. All right, I hope you guys are happy with the draft from both teams. Team Detonator versus Tigers is about to start. Oh, if you ask me, I 
I kind of enjoy the heroes of Detonator a little bit more. Uh, let's say that they got 52% mm, chance to win this game and 48 for Team Tigers. It's all about the execution too. I believe that uh, if Tigers could survive in the first 30 minutes of the game until the Phantom Lancer get big, like got all the stuff including the Harp Taras and Butterfly and all this in late game, it's pretty close between the Tidal Blade and Phantom Lancer. It's all about the execution by then. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Are you, are you guys ready for game number two of the grand final of BTS Spring Cup? If you're not ready, then never mind. I'll go in anyway. Let's hop into the game. Prepare for battle. Such simple minds. <laughs> you should have known <laughs> this. <laughs> we come for you. Oh, that is done. too good. You die. Yet your failure lives on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game. We're going to do some quick intro. Who play who in this game for Team uh, Tigers on the radiant side? One four three seven on the track playing support. Velo on Slada as a core. Four five eight Phantom Lancer, Cipher, Elder Titan, and Dendi on Viper. For Team Detonator on the Dire side. Raging Potato, Terror Blade as the same. Ben Her, Shout Demon, Fly Solo on Grimstroke, RR Nixacene, and Sam Edge on Sven playing core. The battle begins. It seems to be three body rune for Team Detonator. I kinda wonder why that's no resist at all. From from Tigers. Or they just don't want to reveal their lane. I, I I I don't get it. Or maybe they know that their heroes are not good in early game, as Team Detonator. Might be. So middle lane, TB, Red Team Potato against Dandy Viper. What a weird lane it is. And Ben Her. Ben Her switch and playing hard carry Chuck Dion. Ben Hur dodge a sprint earn for the first time. What about bottom lane? Bottom lane is when core with Grim Stroke together against Velo solo lane. TB versus Viper in the middle lane. Oh, Viper getting harassed a lot from Terror Blade Metamorphosis. Sometimes it feels like this is such a warm welcome to Dendi. Welcome to Southeast Asia. All his life stays in EU and CIS. Such a big different playstyle from Southeast Asia and every team, including that tornado, is trying to give him a lesson here. Rating Potato now switch and play against Dendi. The last game was Ben Her. But Ben Her now on top. Nice reward, dandy. Viper destroy the Ops Award. Level 3 with the crown. Well, bottom lane. Ben just gonna keep spamming his the uh, child poison. Uh, I believe that he will max that. How demon just got a boot. Spit Earth hit Grimstroke. And the uh, throwing some stun here. Grimstroke! That's first blood. 1437 solo kill. Nice strike back in this one for Team 
Pegasus. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Red Team Potato leading on the last eight with 12 and 60 dice, while Viper only eight. What a great last hit by one four three seven finish off damage one more time. Strong lane of the rating potato. Ex Minetsky player. Same side team Tigers won the bottom lane against Grimstroke and also Sven they have to rotate Sven to the top and they're just gonna move the Chow Demon to the bottom I believe four and a half for Daddy five already for Raging Potato he turned on his Metamorphosis it would be hard for Dandy to go in and his farm and take a look at the top kill first Side off with a storm hammer and then follow up with an impale straight to back Ben her. Ben her already killed the Phantom Lancer, but he trying to get away from himself. Nice body block from the teammates, and also Ben her keep on spamming his the uh, Chow poison. Another storm hammer, and that's it. Two kill for Team Dead Tornado. Maybe it's time to go back. Yeah, go back and just go back to the bottom lane. Perfect switching lane by Team Detonator, including clear kills. Bottom tower is under attack. Now it seems like his teammate need to move in and help him. Because Terror Blade is only five and a half. Gotta get dive in. Terror Blade! Split turret! Split turret! Tower split turret! Doubling Enix still dealing some damage! Tower shooting under the track! What a composure play by the uh, Raging Potato. He was so cold. Cold like Coke. And now here, at the bottom lane, there's still some big problem. Every time 1437 ran into the Grimstroke, Grimstroke died. Meanwhile, top lane Sven. Try to go for the great, great cleave to clear all the illusions. Or the Phantom Lancer. Still a hard lane from Viper against the Terror Blade. TB 28 14. Viper only 19. I'm sorry, Fly Solo. The top lane, Phantom Lancer was brought down by Fly Solo. One four three seven turn on the arcane boots. Straight to raging potato. It doesn't matter if you lose it or you get less last hit, but as long as you can get the fast first tier one tower, you'll be fine. Dyer's middle tower. Now you got the tower. I kind of like this this idea of Team Tigers. Yeah, I know that the Viper losing lanes, he doesn't have enough last hit, My and TB get a maximum farm, so the solution? Just take down the tower. <laughs> Love it, man. And it actually works. Because cutting down the mid tier 1 tower of Team Detonator is gonna open a lot of routes. And now they move the Phantom Lancer against the TB here. Top lane Sven about to go down. Doesn't have any Storm Hammer left. Just one Lightning Storm can easily kill Sam H. Yoshimoto. Oh, he missed the Echo Storm. <laughs> How Sven did get away from that? Grimstroke to the top. Dead Tornado is still doing fine despite the loss of the first tower in the middle. Ben her, the hard carry. Disruption combo with an impale. 
He kind of stuck in the uh, spitter, walking away. Dabbling Edict gonna have a lot of damage on him. Dominating for 1437. Seems like he's the only one who's carrying the team at the moment. They move Viper away. Viper back to the middle lane, trying to defend. First time, uh, now he uses poison attack. And also the Viper strike. No Sunder, so that will be an easy kill. Make a kill for 1437. Nice game sense. Tigers know that TB doesn't have the uh, Sunder yet. So you spend all the ultimate on it. Power trade. Swain throwing a storm hammer on support. This is the um, Elder Titan. Twin nice kill. Ben Her Child Demon. Child Demon. Walking away using Demonic Perch on 1437, but 1437 is so strong. And that's, he add another assist for Velo. Velo already level 7. But he doesn't have that much item. Magic Wand. Got 1k go in his pocket. Sweet. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning you. Echo stomped on a Sven. Tigers slowly coming back into this grand final. They're doing not bad in the first five minutes of the game. I'm sorry, the first ten. Shout Demon on the way to the Etherlands. I feel like the Charlie Demon core, this game is still not working that much. Trying to max his Shout Poison. Radiance top tower is under attack. Hasn't had the soul catcher just yet. Dire structures are fortified. Here we go, Vendetta going straight to the Vendetta. No idea at all from Slada, and that's easy kill. Unstoppable for 1437. Uh, next one should be Ben Her goes down. Rod of Atos already. Rod of Atos from who? Atos from Dendi. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Crazy tactic and what a play by one four three seven. Now it's already clipped. R R. Amy for support. He's just gonna run away. Impale on three. Nice save. Echo Storm still stuck in. Time to go for the tower. It seems like everything that Team Tigers do in this game is so good. Everything goes according to plan. 458 about to get his Divisor Blade. But now the support might get caught. Impale stuck in. And also the Storm Hammer. Sam H. Yoshimoto got himself a fall down. 1437 is actually the high bounty target, so everyone just aim for this one. 1437, one hit away, impale, got them. Almost 600 gold earned from that kill. TB gets a free farm on top. 
is quite dangerous because the last time in the previous game they give TB free farm and then yeah Radiance bad things happen however with this game with the um, crossy pace and uh, 458 slashing on him it's just easy to kill Four five eight is gonna cause big trouble to Team Tiger soon. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Game going a little bit slowly in this one, unlike the first game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I kind of like this grand final, it's just like a drama movie. Got everything, got intense part and also the uh, slow part where everyone just, you know, try to hang out, talking to the, um, talking to moms Dyer's and stuff. Top tower is under Look at that, impale. Got that, aiming for the track. It's cool to go for the track because he's actually the main damage dealer in the moment. Go save for the TB, turn on Metamorphosis, he's just gonna maximize his damage on everyone. This is... I was just giving him some compliment and now this is disaster for Team Tigers. Raging Potato turn on his Metamorphosis and so easy, free hitting on every single one of Team Tigers. Except Phantom Lancer and the... Uh, Slaughter that he didn't attend. Once again, the TB got the highest network. Yeah, I I know TB all always have a highest network, but this is too high. Throwing a storm hammer on him. Turn on the. Uh, Carsey pace on Swain. Let's see how m how many armor was minus six armor minus when you got into the Carsey pace. Radiant structure the same. Back to the middle lane. This might be the first big team fight in this game. Are you guys ready? Throwing a storm hammer, rod of Aethos coming out from the Dendi. Where is Dendi? He needs to be in the front line. Ben her the core Chow Demon falls first. I don't agree with Chow Demon core actually. But maybe some experiment by Team uh, Detonator. Who knows? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structure. All the half HP. Detonator only got one job for now, it's just to hold the game as long as possible and try to give some time to Terror Blade while Tigers just have to super rush the game out. TB already finished his mental style. On the way to the straight to butterfly or maybe just get the black king bar first i think getting black king bar first would be a better idea because that's a lot of split third citrine crush and the uh spirit lands now they're just gonna catch that scream stroke Grimstroke, down, fly solo, got him. 1437 will surely go down because of the Child of Poison. Nice trade. It's actually the better trade for Team Detonator. They got the core, but they lost the uh, support. Might go in for round two. Here comes this man. Red Team Potato was brought down. Solo kill at the bottom lane. Walking away for Velo. Shooting in the Earth Splitter. Hit that Toe Demon core. But however, Red Team. 
Red Team Potato Illusions kills 458. Oh my goodness, what actually happened over there? 500 gold earned from that. Illusion Q458. We didn't see that because we were looking in the middle lane fight. What I noticed about these two teams fighting each other is it's kind of hard for them to fight 5v5. It's always split out like 2-2-1, two, 3-1-1, two, one, three, one, one, three, all this. It, the, the whole game are full of the micro fights, not like a big team fight 5-5. Five, five. So it is important for the in-game leader to deploy uh, heroes to, to places. Went on the way to the Blink Dagger instead of going straight for the Black King Bar so he can be safe from all the spell. He just want to play more aggressive. Dyer's top tower is under Walking attack. up. It's time to go in once again and see how they're gonna initiate. Slot out with the hand of Midas. Corrosive haste on Grimstroke, then did not that far away. He already got the um, Rod of Atos and also the mechanism. Seems like Dendi. Slot of disconnected, so we got some time to break. I'm gonna show you guys some items update. All right, man, let's go. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Just have to farm back to the game patiently. TP are not ready to fight PL just yet. PL getting closer and closer to the Mentor style. Look at the po battle power of PL. He can easily take down Nixus in in few seconds. Game is kind of passive on this one despite uh, 29 kills in 20 minutes. It's still full of the micro fight. Not a big fight yet. Everyone that can farm is trying to find a way to farm first. Especially for for Team Detonator Harris. Just not enough damage to just break, break through here. Dandy turned himself into a super tanky hero. 25 armor. Had a lot of 8,000 also on the mechanism. Now he's just gonna aim for the slider first. He surely go down in front of Metamorphosis. Time to chase for more. But how can he catch them? The frontliner got no discipline spells at all. They are aiming on that Viper. Walking away, Viper. You can't take the damage from that. TB Metamorphosis is just too much. Viper flying away. Oh, Impale hit too. That was a very nice setup by uh, uh, Yoshimoto. Follow up with the uh, Storm Hammer, and that's it. Sid. Three down for Team Tigers, and it's time to move on for that Tornado. Going straight into the Rochan pit. This is the, the moment that Team Death Tornado were waiting for. Being behind for the whole game. But once Team Tiger made a mistake, they are ready to punish them. 
One, four, three, seven with a Crimson Guard is walking away. TB. TB. Oh man, a mispositioning by 1437 easily get caught by Ben Hur. Uh, by started off, he, he already got this one. The disruption is quite far now. He already got the Etherlands. Going straight inside, time to dive in for Ethelin. What happened to Team Tigers? They used to doing so good in the first 15 minutes of the game. Now they seem so powerless. Viper. Another nice setup by RR Yoshimoto. Follow up with the um, Storm Hammer and then trying to strike by the TB. What actually happened to Team Tigers? They keep dying one by one, but we also got to give the credit to RR Yoshimoto every time he blink. Give it an Impel. Impel are on point. Too much for Impel. Man, this Impel is like a mini rabbit. We can call him the Tidy Hunter. Oh my goodness, however, 458 split one off, but he actually had to trade himself with the support, which is not a good trade at all. Another Storm Hammer hits, and just right there, Sven standing in front of him, shot down by the tail of the blade. That should be it, one hit away. Nice save, Sentry Crush, and kill that Sven though. But is that a little bit too deep diving in? TB didn't even care about. Raging Potato TB is so strong in this game too. TB. Trying to find his way back to the base. Can't no, he cannot use his thunder. RR try his way to drop an impel in order to give him some time to drop the ultimate. RR uh, with a spike carapace. Alright, that tornado. Give it back to Team Tigers. The momentum in this game because Tiger is going straight into the Rochan pit. That was an easy mistake made by Team Detonator too. Hanabitus power trade and Vladimir offering on the way to the Blink Dagger for Slaughter. <laughs> he might get capped down by that Ben Hur Yoshimoto with a disruptor. Ben Hur, nothing at all. His net worth was so low. <laughs> this is a core child demon right here. Gotta step up, man. Bend her. Just gonna spam his shot poison, deal deal damage to Team Tigers. Top tower he himself still cannot fight the illusions of the um, Phantom Lancer. That's the reason why I don't think <laughs> the Shadow Demon core is is it's working. Radiance top tower. That is just an illusion. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. 
PL. On the bottom lane, he's dropping quite low. He just have to run away now. PL still in need of the heart of Taras. Once PL got the heart of Taras, it would be much harder for Team Detonator to win in team fight. So hard to take the PL down. Just need all the damage from the uh, Metamorphosis, Terror Blade, and also Sven to cleave all the uh, illusions out. Radiant are scanning. Sven. This game is so important, especially for Team Tigers. If they lose this game, Detonator will go up to 2-0 and they just need one game to win Tigers 3 No and becoming a champion of Beyond the Summit Cup Spring 2019 Jumping inside trying to catch Call Child Demon is still not working No effect to the game at all of a coach of demon for now. Except then using the uh, supporting disruption and also the deadly purge. Everyone going straight for the Sven. Sven falls. Bot back right away. He know that he need to do it. Let's go. Whatever it takes, do not lose a set of racks for Detonator, but however, Fly Solo fall because of the nice initiation by Velo. They're diving inside. Phantom Lancer is going to take down everything in front of him. they got some barracks here. 25 to 21 game score. Too strong for the PL of 4-5-8. The last one set of racks for Team Dead Tornado, but not yet for the whole game. Time to go for more, guys. I think this might be a marathon of five game grand finals, who know. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Phantom Lancer just got a hard thrust. I Dyer's told ya that he just here just got bust. Increase from 36 to 44. Now let's take a look at this team fight first. Dead Tornado. Risk everything, pushing out the base and trying to strike on team um, t Tigers that stayed uh, below at the, ti at the river. And now Velo is the first one to go down. He takes the maximum damage from the Terror Blade. The race of Team Detonator need to fall back. They can't fight PL anymore. Even the TB. Now he's running out of mana, so it will be hard for TB to just, you know, using the Thunder. Walking away for the PL. He just needs a few seconds more to regen his HP. Raging Potato, dropping quite low for PL. Now here we go. PL just goes straight to the uh, Grimstroke. Detonator trying so hard to use that Shadow Demon to counter the PL with the disruption. They even play as a core. But in my opinion, I think they should play it as a supporters and use disruption on PL and then just pick another core to deal with it. And that's it, Sid. We are going to game three with the 1 1 score. Tigers 
tied the whole series. All right, <laughs> how, how do you guys feel as well? It Tiger, if you are the Dandy fan, you might feel like, woo, man, it did so good with the Phantom Lancer, this one. And I think, I don't know, man, I, I the, the idea of having Venher on the uh, Shadow Demon, having Shadow Demon on your team against the Phantom Lancer is a very good thing because it's direct counter to the PL uses this disruption on the hero, creating illusions and just um, two army illusion fighting each other, but I just not agree with the uh, picking it as a core hero played by Ben Hur. When Ben Hur could just play mid laner and, and just, you know, uh, control Dandy over there. And having another another core hero to just finish the game and trying to deal with the PL, well, well, maybe they're trying to do some experiment here for Detonator, but who knows, this experiment game might pay the price later. So... We still don't know what's going to happen and who's going to come out as a champion for the uh, Beyond the Summit Southeast Asia Cup, Spring Cup actually. We're just going to take a break for a few minutes and we'll be right back for game number three.